what is up? Welcome back to the We Select 12 NFL Petition. Let's get right into this. We already had a little random dancing session. We will have one at the end, but let's get right into this. But before we do, we gotta do some business. We gotta take care of some business here. If you are new to the Adventure Squad, and this is your very first video, and you, or you have not done this yet, smash that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification, y'all, so you do not want to miss any uploading, any upcoming uploads. You guys just don't want to miss. This is a video a bit dumb up if you're ready for week 12 NFL action. And Enjoy your Sunday. I, I know many of you have a short week this week. But enjoy it. Watch the football. Now with that all being out of the way, let's get right into this. So the game that happened yesterday was the International Coach and the Houston Texans. And the Texans won. And I was going to pick the Texans to win. But they didn't win by a lot. They barely won. Because International Toad is looking pretty good this year. They only won by three. Only three. Not good. For all the weapons they have on offense. Has to try to kill the better battle. Don't kill the International Toad. But they were such a good team that both teams just did not do it. It was a tight ball game, I bet you. But the very first game of Sunday, or today, will be the Dolphins vs. Cleveland Browns. This is going to be The Dolphins is coming off of a loss. And that loss was to the Buffalo Bills. And they got smoke. The Dolphins got smoke out of their game plan last week. The Browns looking pretty good this year. I think the Browns should win this one. Oh yeah, I think they should. Yeah, I think they can uh, make the Dolphins lose another game. Let me not the Lions, but the Weston. Weston's not doing that bad. The Fort Lion is average. They're doing up again. Not a good team this week. Or this season. I think Lions gonna win this one. Then we got the Raiders and the New York Jets. Now, if I was Buffalo, I would want the New York Jets to beat the Raiders. But that's just me. Because we don't want the Raiders to interfere with our playoff chances. Which Buffalo doing pretty good right now. So, if we can get the New York Jets to win this week against the Raiders and make the Raiders have another loss, that would help. That would help. Real good. Would do. But in reality, Oakland Raiders might win. But it might be a slow game. It could be a neck to neck. Neck to neck. Tell me that the New York Giants versus the Chicago Bills. Now, this game right here. Chicago the Bills, I thought they were having a good season, but then they're going downhill. New York Giants are doing the same thing, like they started out downhill, but they're slowly reaching back up. Slowly. They're slowly, should I put that in quote? They're slowly reaching back up. This is going to be a good ball day to see what, which team is better. Honestly, I don't even know who to bet to win. Um, I kind of want to stay with my gut. I kind of want to say the Bills gonna win, but I think it's gonna be such a tight game that we'll, we won't find out who's gonna win until the game over. It should go into overtime with three and three. The, the door should be three and three going ahead into overtime. Let me the Panthers, and they're going up and down. Their division opponent, New Orleans Saints. 
But that New Orleans Saints don't have that done in toy bear. But they're playing very good football right now. Panthers are doing all okay. They're doing okay. And they're coming off a loss too. I kind of think the New Orleans Saints are going to win this one. But I think the Panthers are going to go out there and fight their hardest. Then we got Russell Wilson versus the Eagles. You know what? I think Russell Wilson's gonna win. The Seattle Seahawks is gonna win this race. Yeah, for sure. Then we got the Falcon versus the Buccaneers. This team, I think Falcon is gonna win. Yeah, Falcon. And then we got. Buffalo Bill with his back at home, so in, in their hometown, and their the opponent who is traveling to Buffalo is the Denver Bronto. Last time we played this Bronto at home, Buffalo won. So, and Buffalo is coming off an amazing win last week. Let's just give it a round of applause. That was a fantastic game last week. Fantastic, all over the board. Fantastic. Special teams could have been a little bit better, but you know what? Defense and offense did phenomenal. So with that in mind, and we'll, my team is playing with feeling. We are feeling out there. I think we're gonna win. We gotta, they're gonna have their fan base in the background making a ton of noise for the Denver Broncos to not be able to hear themselves. I think Buffalo's gonna get their eighth win. We're gonna get our eighth win. The agility, I guarantee it. Let's go. Then we got the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they're going up against their division opponents, the Cincinnati Bengals, which they still have not had a win in their win column yet. The Bengals are still zero and twelve right now. Or 11? No. Something like that. Steelers is not doing that good, but I think they can win this one. Oh yeah, I think they can win this one. Then we go to Jacksonville, to, and they're playing the Titans. This is gonna be a good matchup. Both of these teams are average right now. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. They're average. And I... I don't know. I think the Titans can come out and win. But it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a real good game. And then we got the Cowboys and the Patriots. Now, this is gonna be a tough game for me to pick a winner. Because... Um... Patriots are in the Buffalo Bears division, so I hate them. I don't want them to win. But Cowboys is Buffalo next opponent, which Buffalo and Cowboy are playing on Thanksgiving. Hint, hint, you will find out in week 13 video, which might go up earlier than Sunday. So stay tuned. Um, so I want the Cowboys to lose, but I want the Patriots to lose. Oh god. I think I want the Patriots to lose more, so I think I gotta tell the Cowboys to win and take down Tom Brady and the Patriots for the Buffalo Bills. And then we will take care of you, the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. Got it? Got it? Got it? Alright, peace out. Then we got the Green Bay Panthers. And they're going up for the 49ers. I think it's going to be a good day. 49ers play real good football. But Green Bay Pastor is slowly throwing up that hill. So, honestly, I kind of want to see 49ers take down Green Bay Pastor. Because they are the top of the team right now. 49ers are. By far. Not the Patriots, it's the 49ers. But if the season ends today and Super Bowl was tomorrow, it, it will be the Patriots first. Sadly, or should I say, sadly, it will 
will be the Patriots, but the 49ers. And 49ers gonna smoke the Patriots. So, let's not have that happen and just not have Patriots on the Super Bowl. So, Cowboys, do your thing and make them lose. Then we got a really good, well, mm, I would say it's a good matchup on Monday night, but sadly, I think it won't be. The Baltimore Ravens are just killing it. They are doing amazing right now. They are fire. And they're going up against the Rams. With how Lamar Jackson are playing, I think Ravens gonna take the W on this one, which is bad. Because I would want them to lose because Buffalo plays them in December. So that's not good. Not good. But you know what? I think anyone who can boot makes the Ravens play really bad is Buffalo defense. Oh my god. And also go back to that pretending the season ends today. I think that a Patriots is for I think would be the 49ers versus the Boston Ravens by far. Those two teams, I can totally see that happening. 49ers from the A NFC and the Boston Ravens from the AFC. I I can see that matchup happening right now. Oh yeah. And I can see Buffalo going all the way all the way to the Thompson Championship. By far. So, with that being said, that is week 12 of NFL action this weekend. Comment down below if you agree with me. If you have any idea of what you think this weekend's gonna entail, what the NFL action is gonna be. We said uh, last week for a little tweet too. Especially that Thursday night game against the Brown and the Steelers. Mayo Dale, he he's out for the rest of the season. But like Brown's gonna have a hard time winning with Mayo Dale not there. But Mayo Dale did it to himself. He should never have never have done that. And yeah, his reputation is gonna go down. Bad. But with that being said, guys, remember, find your magic moment. You are worth it. Believe in yourself. Tell yourself every single day that you can do whatever you want. Don't ever tell, don't take anything personal. What that people tell you. Just go out there and do it. And just be happy. Be around those people that make you happy. The hard that matter. Be happy. Life is, that's all what life is about. Having fun and be happy, that's it. Money? It's not about money. But so many people right now are worried about money because we have to pay all these things. But in reality, when we die, money's not coming with us. We're not taking money to the grave. Money's staying behind. So, Life should not be about life should not be about money. Life should be finding those people that make you happy, to support you, you know, everything you do, to be on your side, whatever you need them to be. And just have fun. Just have fun. Just have fun. Not about money. Even though many of us, including myself, think that it be done with everything we have to pay for or everything we have to pay for in the future. But it's not about that, really. It's about being happy. Happiness is what it is. So, with that being said, we will catch you next week for week 13. We said it's gonna be a good week and it's gonna be totally week. Happy Thanksgiving. The whole. Catch you in the next thing, but before we go, we're gonna do some random dancing. So, show me up. So let's get some hype up for Sunday action of football. Peace.